out, we're Beyond Rico, to start with. I'm Lewis, I'm the bass player. I'm Zay, I'm frontman and guitarist. I'm Josh, and I'm vocals and drums. I'm Billy, I'm vocals and lead guitar. And Billy is also left handed. Yeah. That's special. That's special. Take a breath and close your eyes. For us. Uh, it was actually, it was good. It was really good. Like, it was a bit weird because the headlining band was a different sound. And we were a little bit worried that a lot of their fans wouldn't really take to our music. But, uh, they did. They, 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 enjoyed yeah, it. They, they enjoyed it a lot. Most, <laughs> the most tiring tour. The most yeah. tiring tour I think we've ever done. Ever. Yeah, but it was it, all, all in all, it was a, like, a success and it was, it was the longest tour we've ever done as well. We've never done, it was, it's normally been like five dates spread over seven days or yeah. four dates spread over something else, but it's, this yeah. one was nine nine dates. Yeah, spread yeah. Five yeah. Five yeah. Days. Yeah. It's ten shows across. This, ten is, shows, the, this is the twelfth day, but fun, like technically the last day, but even though it's a separate tour. <laughs> yeah, really yeah. yeah, no. All, right, all in all, on, all in all, on. it was nine dates spread over twelve days over two tours and a Scarlet Drive show. Yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> and now we're home. And now we're home in Bristol. Home. God, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back to work tomorrow. That's fine. Yeah. Same. Well, the corner was awesome. It was kind of and the writing process was a week before. Yeah, the writing <laughs> we we had a load of song ideas and we went into like pre-production on Josh's MacBook. Yeah, about um, the week before. Again. Yeah, <laughs> and then when we got to the actual recording, we were all a little bit worried, thinking we were underprepared, and it kind of it, it just came out amazing. Like our, our producer is Kevin Peters at Anemic Studios. Amazing. And just what he did with what our ideas and our sound was absolutely incredible. We couldn't have asked for anything better, especially especially for the price as well. Yeah. We know most producers, and we're not going to of course say names, but most producers do like what we like, what we spent for about one or two tracks. But we did a whole EP spread over five days, and it was just awesome. Amazing, and we're going to hopefully go back there about like February or March next year. It's so the only reason we went back to him for the do it like a dude cover as well. Yeah, and he made that sound incredible. Even better. Yeah, it was awesome. Shocking. Everyone were like, oh, the shocking guys isn't good. Yeah, they've gotten <laughs> heavy. They've gotten heavy. Oh, we released shocker. A yeah, they re we released a trailer with one of the heaviest tracks on the EP, it was uh, Long Live Liberation, with like the rapping, the screaming, the beatdowns, because what we'd released before was a little bit more pop punk. A little it's, bit. It's a little, it's a little bit cheesy. <laughs> and then we're still going to be cheap. There's still us with the bit of cheese, but more heavier. Yeah, and we were just getting messages like, oh, when were you guys like hardcore? When were you guys this? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah it was just like, we'll come to the show and you'll realise we do scream, <coughs> we do beat downs. We're here. We're here. <laughs> we mix everything. But yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was really good because our first EP was £100. And it's, we, it, it wasn't even three months. It was it took, fifty. It, yeah, it was fifty quid. It took us three months to do it. It was, that was one guitar sample track drums, well. one guitar track. It was awful. A few, Everything. Oranges. A few oranges. A few oranges. Few oranges. Fruit. Never, never that, go back to that. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> not, not as an amps, orange amps. It was orange the fruit. Yeah, our producer would not work unless he got given the orange. We're not going to name him. Alright, I'm still going to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was supposed to be a Bristol... Because our old cover was rubbish. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, um, there was supposed to be a, a Punk Goes Pop Bristol album. Yeah. yeah. That, that never, got, about that never got done. And when we got <coughs> when we got approached about it, we were like, okay, we'll do we'll do something different. And we kind of thought Jesse J was good enough to be put on there. And then all these other bands around Bristol were like, oh, yeah, we're going to do The Wanted, we're going to do Justin Bieber, yeah. One Direction, blah, blah, blah. And we thought everyone was going to do it. And then when it came time for the album to be done, it all fall through. So we thought, well, so we like the cover. So we're going to keep it. it. We're going to keep it. <laughs> and then, um, well, we sent it to Kev. And because uh, when none of us, I don't have a proper microphone, so we just send the tracks over as instrumentals. So he, he didn't realise it was a cover. He thought it was actually one of our own songs. <laughs> <laughs> so we sent it to him, and he's like, "This is also this this song's a winner." And uh, he didn't want to know. And then when we told him it's a cover, he's like. Of who? We're like Jesse J. Went, ah, and so then we did. Until we did the vocals, he did not know what song it was. We completely changed it. And then so we, so we completely. The only I thing think, I think, I think, kept I think Jesse J. Would like it. I think she yes, she would. Yeah. I hope yeah. she does. Yeah. Some people said they liked it. I've heard for a lot. A lot. It, it got us a lot more fans. Definitely yeah. It's so like as soon as you post a YouTube cover. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, what are they doing now? Blah, 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 and stuff like that. Like, we've been, a couple of days ago, we found you found a Justin Bieber cover. Oh, oh it was yeah. incredible. And then you instantly incredible. liked the band. Yeah. <laughs> and you Same. go check out their stuff. So it's a really good way to get in there, oh. you know what I mean? Cool.
Do you want to do this separately? It'd be a lot easier. Yeah. Right, let's start with Lewis. Really? Yeah. Alright, let's start with Lewis. <laughs> uh, I just like the heavier, like, oh, I like everything, you but, I, heavier shit. but I like the heavier genre, like, so, like, uh, Bring Me Horizon, and then I like, uh, Fall of Sleep and Bands Like That, Buried Tomorrow, and, like, and the Bands band. with Beards. Yeah, Bands with Beards. A lot of Beards. Yeah. yeah. Longer the beard, the heavier the band. Is that why you kept your beard? Yes. I'm not in a beard. The attempt, the attempt of beard, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah, asked my influences. And that was Billy, now to Joshua. Uh, give me a list. Oh, well, name three. Uh, Melee Parade. Mm -hmm. If we were to do the kind of soft side of everything. Um, You're taking your time. Shut up. Um, a big list. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's hard, man, to think. I'd say probably. Actually, yeah, Melee Parade, Angels and Airways for the production side of our songs. And heavier side, I'd go with Mice and Men, I think. I Just because it's an easier structure to go by. I'll go with Fallout Boy. I want that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lincoln Park, just because of Chester Bennington and Mike oh, Shinoda. Oh. You saw that in the set, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, you started singing that <laughs> right there. And uh, I'll go with, I don't know, Jay Z. Jay Z's really sick. I like Jay Z. Let's do that. It's what's seen in your life, it's fun. Yes, yeah. right. Lewis? I, th I think you got more diverse pick than I am. Well, what was yours? My, my, mine's Slipknot, pretty old school metal. Oh, nice. With the riffs and everything. I like that. Yeah. The, oh, Straight pop, uh, straight pop punk, like a story so far, because you know. You're pop, pop, pop punk, man. Pop punk. Are you going to say to you the secrets now? I, I, I was, but <laughs> I, I guess not, because you know, they're just my friends. But um, <laughs> no, I'm just really diverse with everything. Like, I go from light stuff like the main, uh, stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? You have to laugh at that one? It's a joke. Yeah, yeah I, like, I got light stuff, I got my heavy stuff, I got polar burning body. And I've got stuff in the middle I can to remember, so I'm all diverse. And then in a weird way, we just all like each other's music. We'll Smash all, up. Yeah, we'll all tolerate each other's music, especially yeah. especially when we're like in these kind of situations touring. If someone puts a song on, we we'll, we'll just oh, well, who's this? What's this? Stuff like that. And they don't even know, which is the embarrassment. Yeah, that's amazing. He <laughs> puts, oh, puts on a hardcore so track. It's in drop C. It's beat downs. It's screaming, and you can't even tell which like which band it is which. It's, uh, no. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, right now, we just need to save money. Yeah, uh, a lot of money. <laughs> so at the end of the day, being, a, being an unsigned band in these kind of situations, you want more people to check you out. That means you have to spend more money to do more things. But uh, we we have a few things in mind. Uh, a lot of higher people in this industry have a few other things in mind for us, uh, especially when it comes to Bristol shows, a bit like the uh, Skylight Drive one. Uh, but I think it's the more touring you do, the more you get out there, the more fans you get, the more like popular you are. And so, for us, when it comes to touring, it's we're going to do more, and hopefully we're going to do it soon. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's, this is it. Oh, we've got one show. We've got one. We that's got, not really a proper show. That's yeah. just the thing we're doing. We're just, we're just, yeah. We're like, we're, yeah. Ce we're celebrating New Year's with a with a pop punk uh, club night here in Bristol called PBR. PBR, uh, Pop Bubble Rock, and I think they have it like Cardiff and Manchester. But uh, that's literally all we've got for now. But we want to write new material. We've really started. Save money. <laughs> yeah, again, we want to we want to record an album, but it's more money. I think so. it's what save money now and just write it from now on. Yeah, yeah. yeah but as soon as uh, as soon as we can get back out there, we're touring. We're gonna. We're, 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 there's nothing that's gonna stop us other than money. <laughs> Oh, and that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. not on camera, it's fine. Uh, follow City of Punk if you're hearing this or watching this, because we all do it. Follow Tumblr. Uh, go, yeah, Tumblr, gotta love it. Go to, uh, I don't know, beyondregal.co.uk. Go to our YouTube page, which is Beyond Regal TV. Which is where you're probably watching this video now. Hopefully, if we get the uh, it's a so they're probably already fans, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, no, they may have stumbled across it by just going... Just by Related videos, <laughs> perusing the internet. Yeah, they, may, they may have just stumbled across it when they visited twitter.com forward slash Beyond Regal. <laughs> <laughs> or that again when they went to facebook.com forward slash Beyond Regal UK. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, all in all, just like thanks for watching. We want to thank you guys as well. For thank you for supporting we've, us. We've never had yeah, a we've never you. had another like interview like this. It's, I like it. It's kind yeah, who's oh, whose van is this? This is our van. Yeah, this is our van. This, this is, is our van. Yeah, that's that's someone else's jacket. Why, why are you in our van? Yeah, what are you why? guys doing? Actually, no, it's not. Yeah, do you guys want to play Xbox? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA. But yeah, uh, just thanks for watching and just uh, hopefully keep on supporting us and we're going to do a lot bigger things. Oh, and. Just, 
whilst you're on our website, just download the Jesse J cover. It's you, free. You know you want to. Do it like a brother. Do it like a dude. Do it like a man, then. Shut up. Just do it. Start, <laughs> sugar, sugar. No, no, our best should we, say these lines. Should, should, should we say bye separately? Okay. No, just say bye all together, really. Bye, Zane. Bye, nice. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs>